mainsail. We'll fish here. Aye, aye, Captain. Thanks, Gerald, for taking me on this fishing trip. There's King Neptune and the Mer people. Yes, we should get quite a haul of fish with their help. With the help of the Mer people's seahorses that will use a harness to drag a huge fish net through the water, and with the help of King Neptune, we should get plenty of fish for today's meal. While we wait for the catch, how about a story? Yes, a story about you. All right, this in fact took place weeks ago. One sunny morning, Jackson, Helen, and I went, went shopping and exploring in the village. We thought we could get supplies for our homes without any trouble, but we were wrong. While Jackson and Helen went to see what was on sale at a local merchant's tent, I decided to check out a local tavern. The name of the tavern was the Green Dragon. When I looked inside, I saw an assortment of customers drinking and playing a game. Looks like Marcus has backed you into a corner, old timer. Yes, one more roll of the ball into square eight and he's lost. Oh, why don't you boys show him a little mercy? No, Kala, this is it. Ha, I win. Pay up, old man. Thank you. Other people observe the action at the game table. Hey guys, let me try that game. As the game players collected their money, I went to the bar for a drink. Say, I know you. I bet you can't beat me in an archery contest. The tough man knew I had a reputation as a great archer. He wanted to prove he was better. Soon a crowd gathered to watch our contest of skill. Whoever hit the bullseye with the best showmanship would win. Place your bets, folks, said a little troll as he handed out betting forms to the crowd. I'll go first. The arrow flew from his string and hit a target 70 feet away. Ha! Beat that! Okay, watch this, I said. Zooming through the air, my arrow went through several pieces of fruit and meat hung from strings from a tree. And hit the bullseye. Ook, ook! Gerald Centaur has made a perfect shish kebab said Monty Monkey. Ah! Girls ran to me while I went back to the tavern. Hey girls, come back. I thought you went for me. The customers at the bar praised my winning shot. But Brutus, both bounty hunter and pirate, used his magic ring to contact Marlena, granddaughter of Grimelda the Sea Witch. I have found the one you want, my dear. Excellent, Brutus. Hold him there, and I will be there shortly with your payment. 
as you wish. I look forward to my reward. Marlena then transformed into a streak of magic lightning and streaked through the air into her laboratory. There the harpies were waiting for her. Where are you going, my queen? I'm going to the green dragon to get a mate. Marlena walked past potions, weapons, and workers to the giant black widow spider, her latest invention. She levitated herself into the spider's body. She walked to the controls and activated the machine. All right, let's take this machine out for a test drive. The spider began to move while the monster guards raised the gate by turning a wooden wheel. The spider lurched forward. Its many legs propelled it through the castle driveway while the harpies looked on from the castle roof. As the giant black widow metal spider marched toward the village, inside it, a magical gem energized the spider's body with beams of power, which were absorbed by magical mirrors to the spider's body. Wow, Gerald, who was the one Marlena wanted to marry? Yeah, who, Gerald, who? And what about the giant spider? Well, at that moment, as the spider was headed for the town, Brutus faced me with a wanted poster. Excuse me, but I have a warrant for your arrest. What's this all about? I'm just doing my job for the right price. And I'm here to help. So am I, girlfriend stealer. The big brute charged at me, but I kicked him back. I threw a right punch to the Cyclops. Then I yanked the club out of Brutus's hand and socked his jaw. But a whip wrapped around my wrist from behind me. And as the whip pulled my hand back, I saw it belonged to Kala, Brutus's girlfriend. Say good night, horseman. <laughs> After Brutus knocked me out, I woke to find Kala and Brutus standing over me. Well, you're waking up, I see. You were out for 30 minutes, love. As a giant spider marched through the village, spreading panic through the town, Helen Jackson and Sebastian flew towards the green dragon. They saw the spider moving in the direction of the tavern and decided to investigate. Jackson, Helen, and Sebastian spied on Brutus and Kala with their prisoner me from behind the bushes. They saw the giant metal spider crawl close to the tavern. Then Marlena emerged from the top of the spider, carrying a bag of money. Well done, Brutus. Here is 8,000 drachmas for your trouble. Thank you. The giant black widow grabbed me by the chains, lifted me, and dropped me into the spider's body. dropped in. When we marry, I will share this power with you. 
I would never marry someone who sees cruelty as a sport. Marlena slapped me, but then showed regret. Oh, I'm sorry I did that, but I really admired your courage. Then Sebastian yelled out, Marlena, release your prisoner now! Do you hear me, Marlena? Let Gerald go, or we attack. Looks like somebody needs to be taught some manners. Marlena, move the controls. And, and with a pull of a lever, may the giant spider's leg rise up and strike down at Sebastian and his friends. Marlena then pressed the controls that unleashed spider webs out of the spider's jaws. Jackson quickly used his sword to slice through the web spray. Before the spider webs could cover Helen, Jackson pushed her out of the way and got wrapped up instead. Helen quickly came to his rescue and cut the webs with her daggers. While Helen and Jackson distracted Marlena, Sebastian flew under the Black Widow. After finding a weak spot under the giant spider, Sebastian then bent the metal open with his claws and crawled inside. Thanks. Sebastian then spotted me tied up and broke my chains. Bastion and I knew what we had to do. And with all our strength, we pulled hard the magic mirrors and shut the power off to the spider's body. After Helen and Jackson stayed away from the web sprays, the spider suddenly trembled and fell to the ground. Marlena saw that we had ripped the magic mirrors away from the power gem. What have you done? Well, it's pretty obvious, I would say. Enraged, Marlena started throwing electric bolts at us. And we bounced the bolts away with the mirrors. And they struck the magic power gem. Gem overload, explosion in power core will commence in 60 seconds. It's gonna blow! Sebastian and I departed from the ship through the hole Sebastian made. We got away from the spider before it exploded into many pieces. All right, yes. From the flames, like a phoenix rising from the ashes, Marlena rose up into the sky, and I could see Marlena's face. And it seemed to me like she had a look of loss and sadness. Then she flew away like a flaming streak of fire back to her castle. We have a great net catch of fish thanks to King Neptune. What happened after you escaped, Gerald? Well, at the witch's castle. During thunder and lightning, Marlena faced Bermelda, the sea witch's temper. Marlena, get over here. Do you realize how much that spider cost? I should have you whipped for this outrage. That does it, young lady. You are grounded. Oh, please, Grandmother, don't treat me like a child. Don't talk back to me. I'm 300 years older than you. Oh, blah, 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 whatever.
Except for the giant robot spider, no one was blown up in the making of this motion picture. Any resemblance to actual centaurs, merpeople, and monsters, either living or dead, is purely coincidental.